अब आप जो भी बोलोगे सर वो स्ट्रीमिंग होगा ओके okay. एक बार स्ट्रीमिंग चेक कर लिया जाए हाँ सर एक मिनट मैं आपको कॉल करता हूँ ठीक है सर Should yeah. I start? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Start, ma'am. Uh, a very warm good morning to one and all present over here for today's webinar. Uh, I Neha Sau uh, from Government Engineering College, uh, Daman, Assistant Professor in Electrical Engineering Department. uh uh i welcome all of you for today's webinar on let's uh, let's crack the gate uh sponsored it's an honor uh it's an honor to conduct the same on the uh, zoom meeting and uh, on the behalf of government engineering college i want to uh, welcome all the speakers Uh, our first speaker is uh, Mrs. Monia Digra. She is assistant professor in computer engine, uh, computer science uh, department at Sri Mata uh, Vaishnav Devi University, Katra. Dr. Suman Kumar Mitra. Uh, I have completed my PhD and MTech from NIT Silchar. I have qualified gate for two year, seventy two years, and uh, currently I am working as assistant professor at HBTU Kanpur. Uh, through good. मैं चार्टी टेक यू गवर्नमेंट प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद प्रेजेंटेशन so uh we uh, as a tech cube faculty uh, for the a government in initiative uh, tech cube technical quality improvement uh, program uh, they uh, for they have recruited the tech cube faculties uh, for the betterment of the uh, the teaching learning process in the uh, remote government college sir sorry for interruption your voice is breaking actually hello okay ma'am hello hello ma'am ha uh -huh. Now it's clear. Yes, now it is clear. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Tech Cube is a government in initiative. Uh, it's a technical quality improvement program, uh, which is uh, started by the um, government of India, and we are doing the engineering. When we are doing the engineering, uh, am I audible, ma'am? हेलो सर योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग ओके या आपकी
Recording in progress. I am Sri Tesh. Myself, I have cracked the uh, gate in consecutive two years. So, as the engineering student, we have always think about uh, when we are doing BTEC, what is we can do after BTEC, what we should do. So, one good answer is that we can go for the gate exam. Why gate? So, gate is mainly graduate graduate test in engineering. And what is what will happen if we appear for the gate? Gate is a overall exam. What you studied in the in your respective branches. Suppose you are appearing from the uh, civil engineering, you have to mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, whatever you are st studying, that thing will be covered in the gate. And there is a standard exam. This is a standard exam. So when you well perform in the gate, so gate score it reflects a relative performance of the candidate. So you know not to tell about yourself to anyone. Gate score will tell for you. Okay. Now gate score can be used for the different admissions in the postgraduate program, masters uh, and PhD, masters of architecture and tech in different reputed engineering colleges, IACs, IITs, uh, top hundred NRF ranking colleges. Anywhere you want to get, get admission of want to admit in the masters program, you need gate score. Next. That give you a uh, financial assistance during this the study because when you are get qualified, you get the stipend from the okay. So that ensure the financial assistance. Next, so gate school uh, also not only for the uh, study purpose. If you have a good gate, uh, good gate score, you may possible you have placed or uh, you are you are recruited by the, the uh, leading edge PUCUs like well uh, Bharat Electronics Limited, uh, in the, uh, Power Grid and many more, NTPC, ISRO, DRDO, I mean many more. So there is a recruitment aspect also there. And furthermore, it is not only uh, appliance uh, acknowledged or it uh praised in india it is also praised in the outside of india also so it is a complete package if you have here for the faith the job and post graduation whatever you want to do it's up to you so that's why we can say that gate is important now, if we see the previous statistics we see that uh very less amount of students who appear in the game actually qualified the game if you see that uh, uh, in 2021, only 17.8% of students actually able to uh, clear the gate. And 2022, 2019, it's near about 15 to 80% or 19% of the same. If you have a only 17 to 18 crack the gate. What is the reason behind that? जो मुझे पर्सनली मुझे जो सबसे लगता है कि if we are uh, studying in the engineering colleges and we have uh, qualified, uh, we have done our 12 in science stream and we have done uh, appeared some exam after 12. So we have the quality. So main problem what I say uh, is that main is the maybe they don't have the that much support or that much content and that not that much guidance how to prepare for gate. So due to that that passing percent is very low, and in that I always means relate with this quote with the Super Thirty movie from the Super Thirty movie. So Pratibha to diya hai but sadhan nahi diya. Agar to aapke paas you have the capability you have the talent but you don't have the knowledge, guidance, proper uh, flow chart in, in front of you, you will not be able to succeed that premium level of exam. Next. So, take you three uh, for the last three years trying to improve the gate uh percentage in the india and they have uh, running a gate free gate coaching in the take you funded institute only so so what are the uh achievement of that uh, they improve the gate performance in take you uh, provided gate training to the students and we see that uh that student uh the 
who are qualified from these institutes where the free gate coachings are available from the Q3, the quantity significantly increased over the time. Many students have qualified and secured less than 100 AIR rank in the gate in their very first attempt. And many people have joined the PCU. Bhi join kiya. Uh, let me tell you an example uh, in that point. Uh, in my college only, last year, one student got 193 rank, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 193 or 190 uh, around. So he got, uh, he is a, uh, act, uh, he worked as a Zumato boy for delivery purpose because his financial condition is too weak. But he uh, taken the opportunity of free gate coaching from the TQ and he got 190 around, oh, in the range of 190 AIR rank. So that is very impressive and that is a, one of the achievements which I can see. So, and these students opted for the higher degree from IST and IITs and IITs and uh, all other reputed institutes and some of them also placed in the PSUs also. So, they are, they are the motive, what is the, then from that point of view, we actually define the motivation to launch a less great initiative. So what is that initiative? Actually, the behind that motivation is that uh, offline current pandemic situation, you know, all, uh, in whole uh, world is a pandemic situation is there in India, nothing less, this is the same condition. Offline teaching has stand still for the last more than one year. So offline teaching or offline coaching, getting coaching is not possible. Then in case digital platforms are there or digital uh, free lectures are there uh wo log systematically koi aapko uh, lectures ya fir continuous guidance ya fir one to one interaction they are not providing so even uh, students are not getting that much benefited which what are the contents available in the digital platform on free basis if you are paying for something then it is uh, uh, different so, uh, if you don't get the sufficient amount of content, you will not able to pro, uh, AP, uh, prepare for the gate very well and you are uh, not able to achieve good rank also. So, in pandemic situation, the uh, financial conditions in our families, many families are like families ki jo earners, hai, they have lost their job or they have losses in the business or some daily workers are there who are not even able to manage their bread and butter. So how they can uh, fund for their uh, children's uh, gate coaching that much high fee. So that depending on that, uh, collecting all these motivations, we think about that, that we should start a uh, motiva uh, initiative where we will provide a free gate lectures, free tutorials, free uh, webinars on the how, you know, what are the job vacancies, what are the possibilities, free, free guidance, free test series. And that total package we have named as a let's crack the gate initiative. And that initiative is started by the tech your faculties. And it is a pan India program, totally free. So there the TQ faculties who have uh, recruited by the uh, central government, MHRD, uh, earlier MHRD, not Minister of Education. So they will guide you, they will teach you, they will give you the motivation, they will clear your doubt, they will upload the lecture. So you need to do, what you need to do, you just need to do the preparation only. You don't need to think about the money. You don't need to think about the anything else. Okay. So who are the tech faculties? I have already told you, but let me summarize. So who are the your students? Who will teach you? So these tech faculties all are great qualified multiple times. Maximum of them, and I'm I must say almost all of them have uh, qualified or or have um, graduated M Tech. Uh, get the MPEG degree from the reputed IITs, NITs, IIITs, or CIITs. 
and 26% of them are PhDs from IITs and IITs. So they know the what are the uh, means uh, difficultness, what is the preparation, what is the motivation you need in the higher education. So you that type of guidance also you can get from there. And rest of the uh, uh, 74% maximum are doing PhDs from are uh, pursuing PhDs from NITs and IITs. So they are the main uh, driving force or of NITs, IITs. So you can learn from them. What does their experience? What what are uh, the guidance they have to offer to you? So you need to uh, you need to listen to them and you need to prepare at that way. So objective of Pan India Free Gate, Gate Training Program. So objective is that free online gate training by the highly qualified young dynamic take your faculties they are well trained in the digital pedagogies digital pedagogies means how they uh, the when you are uh, uh, giving a digital lecture what are the precautions you need to take how you to make the uh, lecture interesting so these are the digital pedagogies and digital learning tools are there so all the faculties are multiple time gate qualified as i already said so in that uh, free gate training program will discuss about the preparation strategies to the student with a regular interval we'll do the continuous monitoring we'll provide the conducting the test series and from test series we'll evaluate that we'll discuss with you what are the disadvantages what can you be uh, achieve more and how you need to uh, what you need to change in the preparation that you can uh, get good score now Providing online study, study material that is absolutely free study material systematically uh, get course uh, structure wise and all subjects systematically. Then motivating students for higher studies and research. Mot all are and study, uh, uh, studying uh, PhD or passing PhD or already passed P uh, completed the PhD from NIT IIT so they know the uh, Indian highest uh, in Indian colleges and foreign colleges. Uh, what are the higher study standards? What are the research objectives? How to pursue the research? How to do the highest? Uh, what is the uh, advantage of higher studies? All these can be uh, done by uh, can be guided by the take your faculties. So, what the, uh, the benefits of the learner as a student? If you join this program, what will be the benefits? So, first benefits is free live or recorded video lecture in youtube to the total complete syllabus not that ki hum logo ne aaj start kiya aaj humne uh, uh, suppose electrical mein hum logo ne uh, network system aur uh, hum logo ne um, uh, control system ke upar diya uske baad hum log kuch aur nahi denge aisa nahi hum log total gate solution pro, gate syllabus provide karenge from starting to end even that includes this means mathematics and all that also okay free doubt clearing session in youtube live and te telegram telegram we have the groups for each branches dedicated groups where the students are there and where the faculties also are there you can chat among itself uh, student can chat among themselves they can find out uh, what their uh, means agar student ko apne aap mein koi doubt solve screen karna hai ya fir aapko koi doubt hai to aap telegram group mein aap post kijiye faculty will respond to that okay and you will get each and every doubt here by the faculty or among the students. Next is free complete test on uh, online test series. So, where we have topic wise test series, subject wise test series and full max mock test series for the full subject. 100% preparation we will provide karenge, almost free or fully free. Okay. Then, top or stop. When you have a lot of exam, ko, uh, क्रैक करना चाहते हैं तो हम लोग जानना चाहते हैं कि जो टॉपर है वो कैसे किया था उसने क्या किया था जो हम लोग नहीं कर रहे हैं वी हाउ कैन फाइंड आउट वी कैन फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम द टॉपर स्टॉक सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी ऑर्गेनाइज्ड टू टॉपर स्टॉक हु इज व्हाट इज मिस्टर रजत दीक्षित फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड एंड इज मिस्टर तुषार मंगल फ्रॉम सिविल इंजीनियरिंग हु इज गेट सिक्योर्ड गेट स्को गेट ऑल इन देयर रैंक 135 एंड 391 एंड ईएससी मींस इंजीनियर सर्विस एग्जाम examination this may 10 and 55 so there these toppers are already given their talks you can find in the youtube channel 
सो स्पेशल वीडियोस ऑन द एग्जाम गाइडेंस करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज क्या क्या नया वैकेंसीज आ रही है क्या क्या आप अभी अप्लाई कर सकते हो कहां पे गेट की इसमें जॉब निकल रही है किस कॉलेज में आपको एम टेक के लिए अपॉर्चुनिटी दिया जा रहा है एमएस के लिए अपॉर्चुनिटी डायरेक्ट पीएचडी एडमिशन के लिए अपॉर्चुनिटी दिया जा रहा है तो वो सब हम लोग प्रोवाइड करेंगे अपने स्पेशल टॉक्स में सो हमने अब कुछ इतना कुछ बोल दिया नाउ वेयर वी विल फाइंड दैट वी विल फाइंड एवरीथिंग इन दिस टोटल पैकेज यूट्यूब इन वन चैनल दैट चैनल नेम इज Take your faculties. Let me uh, go through this YouTube channel very fast. आपको ये channel दिख रहा है YouTube दिख रहा है यहां पर आपको search करना है take your faculties, then you will get this channel. What you need to do? You need to click on that channel. Okay, यहाँ पे देखिए आपका होम सेक्शन है वीडियो सेक्शन है वीडियो सेक्शन में आपको सारे वीडियो मिल जाएंगे जैसे हम लोग अभी लाइव जा रहे हैं तो लाइव नाउ में भी हमें दिखाई देगा कि अभी हम लोग लाइव जा रहे हैं ठीक है ये जो आपका कॉलेज जो है गवर्नमेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज दमन का जो लाइव चल रहा है अभी ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट करेंटली वॉचिंग फ्रॉम द यूट्यूब ओके वी ऑलरेडी हैव सिक्सटीन पॉइंट एट के सब्सक्राइबर मतलब ऑलमोस्ट उसमें मोर देन सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड हम लोग का स्टूडेंट अभी भी डिफरेंट कॉलेजेस डिफरेंट स्टेज डिफरेंट रीजन के इंडिया से यहाँ पे है जो ऑलरेडी स्टडी कर रहे हैं वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस गेट इनिशिएटिव वन मंथ अर्ली एंड वी हैव है इन प्ले लिस्ट यू विल फाइंड द ब्रांच वाइज एवरीथिंग ऑल ब्रांचेस दस कॉमन इंजीनियरिंग मैथामेटिक्स फॉर ऑल ब्रांचेस सिविल इंजीनियरिंग डेडिकेटेड लेक्चर्स आर देयर एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन स्टील स्ट्रेंथ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल में आपको नेटवर्क थ्योरी सिग्नल सिस्टम कंट्रोल सिस्टम एवरीथिंग ठीक है हर चीज में आपको फुल प्ले लिस्ट वाइज बनाए आपको जस्ट क्या करना है या फिर जाके फुल प्ले लिस्ट में क्लिक करना है एंड यू विल गेट दिस टोटल प्ले लिस्ट यू विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम लेक्चर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग ओके सो इन कम्युनिटी यू विल फाइंड दैट वॉट इज द शेड्यूल्ड सो लेट्स से टू डेज इज नाइनटीन नाइनटीन हम लोग इस चैनल पे कितने बजे कौन सी लेक्चर किस ब्रांच आएगा यू विल फाइंड दैट वन ओके सो इफ यू डोंट वांट टू गो लुक व्हाट विल बी कमिंग टुडे सो यू डू वन थिंग जस्ट जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड जस्ट प्लेस दिस बेल आइकन एंड प्लेस दिस ऑल यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर इच टाइम फाइंड द एनी कंटेंट अपलोडेड इन दिस वेबसाइट सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू वन नीड टू डू यू नीड टू ओपन द YouTube सर्च द टेक यू फैकल्टी get open this channel go through this decide after going through this good or not join this channel subscribe this channel press the bell icon you will get the notification as soon as any video uploads or any live content goes any top up store goes you got the update you need not to check every time just do subscribe and press the bell icon now you can find us also uh, follow us also facebook we have in the facebook at the rate of take your faculties twitter at the rate of take you fair email we have take your faculties at the rate of gmail.com in youtube we have take your faculties what i have already showed in instagram we have take you app okay so in uh, telegram i have not mentioned because uh, uh, telegram has so many groups each branch has a individual groups so you can uh join the telegram groups also we'll uh, in every videos you will find the telegram groups links in the uh, video description so you can do you can also check right now when you are seeing this uh, live webinar okay so at last i only request you to please join us explore us and take the advantage of free gate initiative by the tech you faculty let's crack the game thank you हेलो मोनिका मैम मोनिका यस सर यस सर सर यू कैन मैम यू कैन स्टार्ट एट द एंड वी विल टेक द क्वेश्चंस ओके ओके सर ओके सर स्टार्ट वन सेकंड so good morning everyone uh, thank you neha neha ma'am and uh, jc daman uh, 
faculties and um, all the principals uh, and the principal and the teachers in the faculties for inviting us to conduct the webinar. So uh, we are all very thankful to all of you. So thank you students for listening to us. So today we are going to discuss about the Tiki Faculty Initiative. Dr. Suman sir has explained a very good about our initiative. You can find us everywhere in uh, YouTube, in Telegram, in uh, Facebook, in Twitter also. So we have we took this initiative to teach the student free of cost. So he has explained you each and everything. So uh, I'm going to explain to you why, uh, what are the overview about the gate examination and what are the opportunities you can take further, further after clearing the examination and why gate is necessary. So basically what is the purpose of the gate exam is to test student knowledge and understanding of, the, of their undergraduate subjects in one second. Uh, one second, one second. Is it visible, sir? Screen is visible. Yes, madam, visible. Yeah. Let me slide show this. So I am Monia Tigra and uh, I am assistant professor in Tiki Third uh, Sri Mata Vaishnu Devi University, Katra. It's in JNK. So I have done my B.Tech from Jammu also, and uh, then I have done uh, a company job in MNC. I worked there two years. I worked there in MNC in Rukao. Then uh, after that, uh, I qualified the gate in 2013. Because I'm not happy, with, I was not happy with my job because it's a nine to nine, uh, nine to nine job. So it's a very hectic and uh, pressurized job. So I thought that uh, I must give a one time exam, like gate exam. So I have to try for that. Then I'm start, side by side. I'm preparing myself for the gate exam. And then I qualified the gate and uh, cracked the gate. Then I got the MTech in Thapur University. Then after that, uh, uh, I got placed in uh, two or three universities for teaching uh, for teaching purpose. Actually, uh, I'm very much interested in teaching, so I choose uh, I shift my career from company to teaching profession. So, uh, so that's my journey. Uh, that's my journey begin. And uh, now, right now, I'm pursuing the PhD from NIT Jalandhar. So I qualified GATE in 2013 and uh, in 2013, I got the uh, MTech in a, on the basis of 2013 GATE. But uh, in 2014, I also cracked the GATE uh, to check myself for self-assessment. I gave that exam. So the, there's a phrase like, uh, the key to happiness is really progress and growth and constantly working on yourself and developing something. Yes, it is very important once we decide to do something like we want, we want to achieve our dreams or goals, we can do that easily, but we have to be constantly working on ourselves. So this is a very important thing which I follow in my life also. And uh, I think this, uh, all of uh, us, we should follow these phrases in our life and implement that to achieve our goals. So the gate examination, this examination is conducted by seven IITs and ISE under MHRD. Actually, it is a computer-based examination, which is a three R. So the knowledge, it is used to test the knowledge of undergraduate level. So currently in the third year or higher grade or already completed bachelor degree holders in engineering and technology, in engineering and technology, they can give that, they can give that exam. Recording so, stopped. Uh, seven uh, in 2021, seven lakh eleven thousand five hundred forty-two candidates were appeared, and uh, the candidate qualified is the one lakh twenty-six thousand eight hundred thirty. So you can see the pass percentage is very low because most of the students don't. Uh, uh, because most of the students have not uh, prepared well. So it is very important uh, to um, make our timetable, to make the time management, and to understand all the um, uh, all the time management things, uh, and to create a to create a time uh, timetable so that we can achieve uh, so that we can achieve the goals and 
prop with with proper guidance also with proper guidance with proper notes and with proper uh, uh, lectures uh, lectures so all these things play a very important role to qualify the gate exams so you every year we uh, there are num num a number of colleges in our um, recording in, in progress so every year 50 lakh engineers graduate and the only 3 lakh engineers get the desirable job but i mean their dream job or you can say that the dream job so 62 to 65 persons are still unemployed so you can see there are a huge amount of ratio of the students who are who get their desirable job and those who do not get their desirable job or they are unemployed still so the gate initiative is a very uh, uh, good thing which we have uh, discussed uh, yes so why gate is necessary so first question is why gate is necessary so what are the benefits yeah so the gate for the gate uh, why gate is necessary because gate provide you the higher studies and also the jobs if you want to, if someone has a dream to get admission or uh, to get the iits or the nits they can uh, they can go through the gate exam so the, the first step is to first you have to qualify the gate clear the gate with a good marks then you can study in these higher institutes in the very prestigious institute of india so gate open lot of opportunities for us it's not for the higher study it can also go for the jobs also you can also do some other jobs which is related with the gates for card like psu's jobs and some research jobs you can do also the research jobs so these are the things you can do uh, you can do after the clearing the gate so that's why it is very important to qualify the gate exam so what are the opportunities so these are the opportunities like higher studies once one can go to the higher study and another one can go to the further jobs so higher study in higher studies you can go for the mtech actually mtech is a two year program and ms is also a three year program so what is difference between the mtech and ms the mtech is a half time teaching assistantship they are providing you a assistantship and they also provide you the stipend also so in the ms they provide uh, you research sorry, research uh, assistantship yes Mahima, there, is, there is an annotation on your screen it will be helpful if you, you can drop that yeah i don't know who, who is doing this so let me clear all the drawings yeah so please uh, please don't do huh uh, please students don't do annotations here and if there is an option to turn that off you can turn that off also annotation off yeah one second one second sir let me check i'm not able to see where is the option so okay, okay no issue i'll see. start mm -hmm. one second so you can go for the phd it's a four five year uh, program you can do after the uh, mtech or ms and there are numerous options you can even study abroad also the gate school card is valid to the other universities which is outside our country some universities like ntu and nsu these are these universities are the very popular and I'm very sorry for interruption but your voice yes. is breaking actually your voice uh, voice is breaking madam voice is breaking my my side uh, internet is connected yeah ma'am your voice is clear uh, i think uh, uh, and mm -hmm. right hand side voice is, uh, internet is strong low quick okay 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 so the these universities you can study outside in these universities uh, nsu they are very prestigious university outside the country so in germany you can uh, study in uh, tu munich and rwta hn and you can also get the monthly stipend there uh, to study abroad they will provide you 600 to 500 dollars also according to their rules and regulation even you can also go for the mba 
so uh, uh, mba you can do uh, maybe you heard about the name nitie mumbai they 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 take the student also those who have qualified the gate and the average package is very much high you heard about the M uh, mumbai nitie so it's a very popular and very prestigious institute and you can also do the fellowship programs at iim so there are some fellowship programs you can go for that after clearing the gate exam with a good uh, good marks so this is very important so next is the jobs uh, this uh, so jobs in the sector of the job you can uh, after clearing the gate exams you can go for the psus and some core company jobs you may heard about the name the bsnl ntpc gate when these all the these all the so you can also go for the rd jobs that is scientist job bar and drdu so, uh, so, so the research, research purpose, purpose you can also go for the research, research purpose, purpose also. Maybe yeah, uh, those uh, uh, those companies or those institutes take the students on the basis of the gate exam uh, on the basis of the uh, good gate score. So nowadays there is a uh, another thing is uh, uh, central government is doing that. They are providing the gazetted jobs on the basis of your gate 2021. So one uh, notification I saw on the internet that is a central government job that's a gazetted job like cabinet secretary recruitment through gate 2021. So you can see how important the gate is. Nowadays, um, our government is giving so much importance to the gate exam. So they are putting all uh, all in, in all the state exams and state jobs and the center jobs also so you can see how important uh, how much value the gate score got so next is the marks versus the opportunities for example if you uh, if you um, qualify the gate exam with the marks which is greater than 70 out of 100 so you can get the private college but you can go to the private core companies nits iims i nitii ms in abroad psu still like so you can go for the iits and iasc uh, iasc so if you qualify in between 70 to 60 so you uh, it is also a good score uh, not a bad score but if you qualify in between 60 to 50 you can go for the private uh, sector core companies there are some um, private sector core companies you can go for the nits and uh, even the private colleges they also take if you have 50 to 40 up to this uh, range of the mass so to get the iits iac and psu and uh, iim so you have you must secure, secure the marks uh, score the marks that is that should be greater than 70. so <clears throat> these are the opportunities you can get after uh, scoring the marks uh, more than 70 more than 70. so next we have what are what kind of the benefits you can uh, uh, you, you can, can get, get after clearing the gate exam. exam. So, so gate exam, exam actually is an entry to MTech and the PhD. Even there is a one uh, um, uh, that is called as the one Pradhan Mantri Research Fellowship Program. In that uh, Pradhan Mantri Research Fellowship Program, you can, uh, if you score the more than six, uh, 650 or more than 650, you can direct get admission after BTEC. You can direct get admission in the PhD. So, so they provide you the handsome amount. amount. So it's, it's a five-year program. program. You, you can, can get the seventy thousand uh, one year for first year. You can get seventy thousand. Second year seventy thousand. Third year seventy-five. And the last year you can get the eighty thousand. So it is a direct fellowship program. It is provided. Uh, this program is provided by some IIT. So uh, some IITs. So they uh, introduce their individual application, and student can get the direct admission after the gate uh, sorry after the beat so but you have to qualify the gate with a very good scorecard so once you uh, qualify the gate with a very good scorecard then you get the admission so mtk is best for those wishing to apply faculty if you want to uh, take your future through teaching uh, like uh, in teaching or education institute or research and uh, development you want to do for research purpose then you can go from uh, MTech then you can go for the B PhD so for that purpose you also need to qualify the gate
So there are some other benefits which I have already discussed in uh, gate uh, after the clearing the gate in MTech student uh, MTech holders. They get the stipend which is twelve thousand four hundred per month for a period of twenty four months or till the completion of course, whichever is earlier. So students are also provided with an annual contingency grant. Contingency grant is provided to um, that is twenty thousand and also provided uh, for, uh, to the MTech students. For that contingency grant is for uh, printing your thesis, for your paper publication, for your uh, for uh, paper publication also. So these twenty thousand will extra provide you. So you we can also see that there are few highest paid PSUs through gate. If you qualify the gate, either you can see number of the uh, companies PSU public sector unions. There are some uh, mini ratna companies. Some uh, recording stopped. Mini ratna companies. They they can um, they can hire you through gate exam. And uh, if they don't. Uh, Take you from the gate exam. If you study for the gate exam, then you can also easily crack their own exam also because the syllabus, all of the syllabus is the same. If you go, if uh, like just a practical exam, hey, D R D O for exam, hey, they also take from the gate scorecard and they also conduct their own exams. So if you prepare for the gate, do you can easily crack their uh, their own exams also. So you can see the salary package and the pay scale is very much high in these companies. So they have a multiple rounds like uh, after taking your case, so they have some GD rounds, the uh, PI rounds, your personal interview. Then after that, you can get the job. So <laughs> this is the opportunity. These are the opportunities which I have explained you for the higher studies and the job. And the third one is the self assessment. Even Some student can uh, can give there for the give, uh, can give the exam for the self assessment purpose for uh, uh, they can check their uh, knowledge by giving the uh, by giving the gate exam. So uh, they can also do for the self assessment jobs. I already told you there are number of uh, opportunities which are present for you for research and development jobs like scientist ki job. Yeah, there are um, some like CSI or CSI may have scientist ki job because of this. So gate exams is very important for the um, every B Tech uh, graduate student. I think. Because it also enhances your knowledge. Even your knowledge, knowledge will enhance, and even you get the good opportunities after that. And that gate score always add in your resume. That gate score, if you have qualified the gate in somewhere late like 2000, uh, in, uh, in 2019 or 18 or 2021, so during your whole career, whole uh, career, it will always value. The gate score that you have qualified the gate with two or three times or four times. Okay, so this is very important. I think this is very important for the B Tech holders. So also there are some other opportunities. Also, you can go for the higher studies. You can go abroad. Also, in fact, by uh, clearing the gate, uh, gate by securing the by scoring the very good marks. So these are the opportunities you can get after the gate examination. So the first step is always the hardest. Yes, we all know, but you have to prepare yourself for uh, for the first step, and you have to manage your time. You have to make your time, utilize your time well by utilizing our sources, which we are providing free available everywhere. Uh, the Suman sir already told you, so you can grab that opportunity by free of cost. So thank, thank you so much, students, and thank you everyone for listening to us. Okay, now uh, I'll hand over uh, the session to the Dr. Yogesh Singh. Thank you, Maya. I hope, I hope my uh, is it visible? No. 
No, no sir, no sir. No, sir. Now it is visible. Okay, is it visible on full screen right now? Yes, sir. Okay. So, welcome all the participants on this webinar on Let's Crack the Gate. I will be discussing about the exam pattern and strategy. My name is Dr. Rivishwar Singh Dibba. I am an assistant professor at Sri Mata Vaishnavi University, Kerala. Unit, uh, UT of JNK. So uh, let's start. These are the projected uh, you know, guidelines for Gate 22. However, we are yet to receive the official uh, guidelines from IIT Khadakpur. Uh, uh, we, uh, this is the IIT that is conducting Gate 2022. So uh, we all know that Gate exam is a three, a three hours examination, a total of 180 minutes, and it constitutes of 65 questions for all the disciplines. And these 65 questions carry a total of 100 marks, right? And there are two, three type of questions that we need to understand. We'll come back to this in slides to come. And uh, for majority of the uh, you know, uh, branches, there are majorly two sections, that is aptitude and the engineering part. The engineering part constitutes of the mathematics and the technical uh, sections. And uh, the marking scheme is again, uh, MCQs, there will be MCQs of uh, one mark or two marks, and there will be another set of questions that is called the numerical ability type, uh, numerical answer type questions. So they will have no negative marking. Uh, this will be more clear in slides to come. So let's hop on to the exact pattern that we will see in the gate examination. So these are based on the previous examinations, uh, and there is a high probability that this pattern will not change for gate 2022. Also. Recording in progress. We need to proceed according to this pattern itself. So, in the examination, there will be three types of questions. The first type is uh, known to all of us, that is multiple choice questions. That is, there are three, there will be four options, and you need to pick one out of the four. And if you have already stopped, uh, one mark or two mark based on uh, the uh, marking of the question. And a negative mark of one by three marks for one mark question, and two by three marks. Uh, negative marking for two marks question. Uh, there is another set of questions uh, that is uh, called multiple select questions. Uh, they are few in number in the gate exam, but they do exist, and we need to opt for multiple choices here. I will explain in the next slide uh, what these questions look like. And final one is NAT, that is no negative marking. And uh, if they are having no negative marking, uh, they are called numerical answer type, right? So these are uh, kind of uh, you know range selecting answers, or maybe they are kind of numericals. You need to enter the numerical value in, and it will be given that for how many decimal places the uh, you know answer is to be typed in. So if you type the correct answer, you will get the marks, and if you type the wrong answer, or maybe the if they have asked for two decimal places, you have entered uh, say one decimal place, the it will not be treated as the correct answer. So, no mark will be awarded or no negative mark will be deducted from your total score. So, let's see the pattern, uh, how the exam exam look like, looks like. So, uh, these days we are having fully computer-based tests. Uh, back in the days when I gave this exam, it was, you know, uh, a conventional type of paper where we used to get sheets and we used to, you know, objective type questions, we, need to, we used to, you know, circle the dark uh, circles. And these days we have fully computer-based tests. Uh, which is having 65 questions, again 100 marks. Now these 65 questions are divided into two sections. Uh, one is the general aptitude that is common to all, and the other is uh, engineering. So in uh, GEC, the one I can see there are three branches, namely electrical, mechanical, and civil. So uh, for all the three branches, you will have uh, you know questions related to your home stream. If you are an electrical student, you will have electrical questions. You are a mechanical student, mechanical questions, uh, civil students will get um, you know questions from civil syllabus. Uh, the mathematics syllabus here in this section remains the same for all the three branches. And coming over to this general aptitude section, uh, it consists of 10 questions. And major, majorly it has been found that these 10 questions comprise of one mark questions, five questions, and five two marks questions. And the total marks for this section is 15, right? And Coming over to the engineering section, there are 55 questions, right? And 25 questions are one mark questions, 30 questions are two mark questions, right? Out of these 55 questions, almost 50 marks are for the engineering mathematics subject, right? And the rest of the technical 
part uh, will comprise of 70 marks. So based on this you know, diagram, uh, you, can, you can see that if you prepare only for you know, aptitude and mathematics part, you will be easily able to clear the gate exam. Right? There are many people who actually struggle even in spite of you know, completing the whole syllabus, preparing for the whole syllabus, they struggle to even qualify for the gate exam. Believe me, clearing the gate exam is very simple. If you, you know, have a good hand at your general aptitude, this consists of uh, syllabus up to 10 class, right? The general mathematics, logical reasoning, and basic English. And this mathematics uh, portion is the engineering mathematics. And uh, the syllabus that comprises of this uh, you know, engineering mathematics uh, is very simple, I must say. And if you take my experience, I think this is the most easy subject I find for the gate exam. And there are very simple questions. If you have a, a very you know, uh, 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 basic idea of the concepts of the syllabus, you will be easily able to achieve at least 10 marks in this section. Now, this is if you are doing you know very little in this in this section you will be easily able to get 10 marks otherwise 15 or 20 marks is for sure you will get that if you have practiced some mathematics questions here and 15 marks from general attitude 15 marks from mathematics and if you have done good in these two sections you have already cleared your gate examination so you need not worry about how will i clear the gate examination how will i will pass the gate examination if you are good in these two sections now once you are you know away from the fear that they will be able to crack the gate or not. Uh, you have already done that by you know, doing your uh, bit for these two sections. Now, if you want to get a good uh, you know, institute, maybe IIT or NIT, you need to work on this technical section also, right? So out of these 70 marks, uh, don't target anything. I, said, I suggest that you, uh, you know, pick up the subjects uh, that you like, uh, that you have a good hand at, and you know, practice those uh, subjects and then you know stick to subjects which you don't uh, which you don't have good hand at, right which you which you are afraid of or maybe you don't have good concepts in that subject i suggest you watch uh, our videos from the uh, youtube channel and there are other resources also you can consult your teachers and you can prepare this part and out of this 70 this is the deciding factor for the majority of the students appearing for the exam uh, where do you land it where then you land into IIC, IIT, NIT, IIT, or other engineering courses, right? So this is the uh, deciding factor. So let's switch on to the next slide. Uh, here I will discuss uh, how MCQs, MSQs, and NITs look like. So this is a simple example of an uh, MCQ question, which institute organized uh, a 2021 examination. So this is an MCQ, so it will have only one option correct, and the correct option is IIT uh, Bombay. So this year's A examination was, was organized by IIT Bombay, right? So if you opt for B option, you will get your know, full marks for this question. Otherwise, you will have negative mark of one third, right? So if this question is of one mark, you will have negative of one by three marks if you opt for any other option, or you wrongly take multiple options, then also you will get negative marks. So a second type of question is uh, MSQ, that is multiple, uh, you know, uh, multiple select uh, questions. So in these questions, it won't be mentioned that these are multiple select questions, but by reading the recording in progress, reading the statement of the question, you will be and you will be able to get recording stop multiple answers right like this is a question which is the following is our states in india so is that is mentioned here by using these words you know you can just uh, think that this question is an msq question and you have to pick the right option in this question the a b and uh, d mumbai is the capital of maharashtra so this is not a state right so, in a scenario, if you pick all the three options, A, B, and D, you will get full marks for this question. Say, for instance, uh, you pick only A and B, that is, both the options are correct, but you forgot to, you know, take D. Again, uh, it will not be considered as a correct answer, uh, but you will not get uh, you know, negative marks for this. Right? The third scenario is that you take C, Mumbai as the option. So again, it is uh, wrong, but uh, you will not be awarded with any negative marks. So these type of questions do not come with negative marks. Uh, but uh, again, answering uh, these questions is again uh, uh, a matter of how much uh, you have grasped on the subject on the field, uh, how much synthesis can you do or the comprehension skills you have of the question. So the third type of question that we come across in these uh, in the great examination is uh, numerical answer type questions. 
uh, you better you know work hard for the fourth section that is the analysis and synthesis section. Uh, so this is the section that is made uh, just to make give that paper a paper uh, difficulty edge. You know, uh, so analysis and synthesis section you will find the questions of this section. Uh, you know, the question will be derived from two different sections of the syllabus. It may be from two different subjects. It may be from two different chapters. So, so just assume you, you have read chapter A and there is a chapter B. You have some set of questions in chapter A, some set of questions in chapter B. Both are independent questions, right? So if you have learned uh, the formulas or grasp the concepts of chapter A and you have not read the chapter B, you won't be able to, you know, solve these questions because these questions are usually derived from two different topics and they are uh, either it is your knowledge to apply one set of concepts to another set of concepts. So uh, this will come out with only practice and practice, right? So these three are the building blocks of this analysis and synthesis. So you need to work hard for this, and these three will be you know taught uh, uh, and can be easily you know grasp using you know practice uh, and using online tutorials that we are providing. This you will have to work hard on your own, right? And practice is again the key to success. So these are the tentative dates and last year dates and gate fee for the last year for this year's BA examination 2021. 30th September, uh, uh, you know, was the uh, uh, registration portal. Sorry, 14th September was the opening date of the website. There will be two weeks given to you for registration uh, for gate examination up to 30th September. Till this date, you will be paying a fee of uh, 1500 for general candidates and 750 for SCST and PWD candidates and female candidates again 750. Right, and if you miss this deadline, 30th September, you will be given an extended period of one week up to 7th October. The date may vary, but it is like one week from this, uh, you know, registration deadline. Uh, so one week from this deadline, you have to pay uh, an extra date fee of 500 rupees. So in this extended period, you will be paying 1250, 1250, and 2000 uh, respectively. Female candidates, SCST candidates, and other candidates. So this is and. Uh, finally, the admit card will be downloaded in the first week of January and for under normal circumstances, your rate examination will happen and you know conclude in the uh, mid week or uh, third week of March. So this is about the uh, dates you need to you know put on your calendar and you know the fees that is required. Early birds will get some discount but uh, if you are late, you will have to pay a late fee. So these are some of the statistics. Uh, Professor Monia has already, you know, given us some light on this that uh, approximately 18% of the candidates are able to qualify gate. But if you work on only aptitude and mathematics, I think this figure can be recording in progress. Also. So it is not very difficult to, you know, pass the gate exam if you think that way. So the key points of preparing gate examination: first, first thing is prepare a timetable, stick to the discipline. You know, cover your concepts uh, each day. You know, if you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, crawl. But you have to, you know, put your every bit uh, towards your timetable. What you have, uh, what goals you have set. The second thing is focus on concepts. So there is a difference between you know gate examination and other examinations, uh, which are like one word answer, or they are only trying to test your recall and comprehension skills. On the other hand, gate focuses on application part and synthesis part also, I have already explained. So for that, you need to focus on the concepts also. And the third thing is you have to evaluate yourself. Now, uh, trust me, the competition is not with the rest of the people or maybe with other people around you or for all the people appearing in the gate examination. Uh, competition is with your own self. So you need to evaluate uh, by appearing in the mock tests, by you know trying out new questions, failing and failing again and then again trying and again you know being a pro in solving questions for a specific section and finally you have to stay positive all the time right and there are a few things uh, you know uh, where you, you know you can work on how to stay positive uh, maybe in the later slides might help you so uh, here i'll be discussing some of the you know uh, things that will distract you if we have time again okay i will just wrap this uh, in five minutes uh, so there are a few things that distract uh, i hope uh, most of you know what dopamine is right so it is a neurotransmitter uh, that helps you give motivation so if you want to jog in the morning you need a lot of dopamine 
to get up early, to get up from your bed, to wear shoes, go on to the road, hit the road, and then start running. And once you start running, you feel comfortable. You don't feel that laxity or laziness in the morning. But it is very difficult to get to the road and start running. In the same way, when you are starting to prepare for the gate examination, and when you have started to do, started doing the things, it is the first step is difficult one because. Uh, you know, there are very low levels of dopamine in your mind, but you need to be motivated, stay motivated. And uh, I will, in the next slides to come, I will tell you a few of the things that will distract you and how to deal with that. The first thing is intimidating questions. Okay. So, intimidating questions. So, when you directly start jumping, you know, practicing gay questions, a few of the questions you will find, they are lengthier. And it is, uh, you know, difficult, uh, you know, to approach these questions. Uh, now, I will be talking about my experience, what I felt when I first started to prepare for a gate. Yes, there were intimidating questions and I was, you know, afraid from these questions. But uh, with time of my, you know, preparation, what I found was the lengthier the question is, the easier it is. So, whenever you see a lengthier question, tell your brain, Yes, if it is a lengthier question, it will be an easier one because most of the things are already given in the question and it will be easier to solve if you have, are having a good concept on that area. So, and then uh, how to deal with, uh, you know, the technical side of these questions is you have to first try or uh, hop on to simple questions, graduate to the medium, medium difficulty questions, adventure out with the tough ones and then become a pro in question solving. And uh, once you, you know, are able to solve these questions, you know, the lengthier or the technical, very uh, synthesis part questions that I am talking about today. Uh, believe me, you will get an adrenaline rush and you will get a lot of confidence and you know, you will get motivated to appear in the gate exam and you will be very happy that you are able to do the questions without taking any help, without taking any help from the solutions itself and you are getting to the right answer and it will uh, generate a lot of confidence and help you during the exam day also. So, uh, another thing is discipline which distracts a lot of, you know, grad, uh, gate uh, preparation people. Uh, see, discipline is the key to success. Uh, discipline can start with even, you know, waking up in the morning, doing your bed, cleaning your bed sheet, putting your quilt in, uh, you know, the right position. So, this is one way of starting your day in, at, the, at, at the right pace uh, with a nice discipline to start it. And then you can, you know, start your day and do things at the right time and follow the curriculum, follow your timetable, and do, even take small steps. So that is the writing in the next slide. So let's, uh, okay, the next slide is competition. Uh, this is another thing that will, you know, intimidate or you know, distract the preparation, get preparation. Uh, while sitting in a class, you may find that other students are doing well. So this is for the students like me, who are like mediocre students, not very super intelligent students. So you will see around you, there are people who are able to solve questions, but you are not able to do that. Don't worry, right? The only competition you are facing is yourself. Compete with yourself. See if, okay, today you are not able to solve that question. Look at the solution, check out the solution. Come back to the same question after, say, two, three days and see if you can do that. If you can do that, I think you have uh, beaten yourself. And that is the thing, uh, that is the very basic for gate preparation. The second thing is, during the exam, the competition now is with time and marks. Right? It is not with the people, it is with time and marks, 3 hours, 180 minutes, and every mark counts. This is why, because majority of the students, even who have prepared very well, tend to mark, you know, uh, the questions which they don't know. And uh, there is a lot of negative marking there, and they tend to get, you know, rank that is quite low. And uh, if they wouldn't have, you know, marked those questions wrong, uh, they might have ended up in top 1000 or 2000 rank. So, this is very important. So, every mark comes. Uh, believe me, every mark, if you are getting, say, uh, if a person is, say, getting 50 marks and uh, out of 100 and another person getting 49 marks, the difference in the rank will be of the order of 500 or maybe 400. So, there are, you know, 300 to, say, 700 people on one mark, single mark. A mark may be rank. So, every mark will come. Uh, Another thing, we are in a habit of, you know, uh, less pain and more gain. We start with big steps. We think, you know, jumping, I will do my one chapter in two days. That is not going to help, right? If you are, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, a mediocre student, I am talking of, you know, people who struggle during the engineering to solve questions, to solve technical questions. 
take small steps at a time. Don't jump your subjects and topics because big steps will eventually make it difficult for you. So small steps will definitely help you. Make small goals, make small targets. That is going to help you in a long way. And you will find out that people who were jumping, they were far behind and you are on the top of the ladder. Time management is very important. Uh, there is less time right now. So whenever I am having less time, I don't say I have less time, I say I have no bandwidth. So I will tell you how that is possible. So first thing of time management is set your goals correctly. Right? One thing is keep a calendar like this, always with you. This is a calendar I hope you can see. And there is a to-do list on this calendar. Right? So the best thing is to make a to-do list for each month, small goals, and stick to those goals and make sure you complete and achieve those goals. Second thing, prioritize wisely. This is this comes with practice. You start from today, uh, it, will, it will it will be you know your uh, part of the you know um, preparation. Set time limits, right? These, this is important when you are preparing for any exam, not only gate exam, any exam you have to set time limits. If you are unable to solve a question by say four minutes, stop. Check the solution, come back later for the same question, try to do it again in that time limit. Take breaks between the tasks. You don't have to sit for say 8 hours, 10 hours continuously. Take breaks, do party, enjoy. You have to take breaks because this is not only going to improve your mental health but physical health also. Organize yourself. Being organized is one of the you know indication of a successful person. Uh, remove non-essential tasks. Now, in today's world, we are having a lot of you know things around us which are non-essential, and we are doing that. Uh, maybe mobile phone, maybe computer, maybe uh, chit chat with friends, maybe you know eating junk food, maybe uh, anything that is non-essential, right? Uh, uh, so you have to remove those things, and you will feel that you are having ample of time, right? And how you do that? I will tell you that if someone comes with you to you, say let's do this or do this. And you have already prioritized your work, and you have already you know set your goals correctly. You know whether I have to whether this is an essential task or non-essential task. You can say no to that person. I don't have bandwidth. Remember, you always have time now because you have removed the non-essential tasks from your day. So now you have no bandwidth for those non-essential tasks, but you have bandwidth for essential tasks. So you always have time, right? So you will be able to achieve that kind of time management required for the preparation of gate and you will not miss anything. You won't miss any playing, you won't miss your friends, you won't miss your targets, you won't miss your study. Right? So this is important. I am just moving quickly because the time is this. Uh, this is an average uh, uh, you know, statistics that are uh, extracted from statistics. Uh, in 2019, the average time that a uh, uh, person spent on the screen online online on the internet was around six hours, four six hours, so it will be around seven hours right now. So from 20 or four hours, if you are spending seven hours online, I think you have wasted your day. Uh, so it is better only to use your gadgets and screen only when required, right? Only for maybe studying or only for getting information rather than, you know, spending hours and hours on uh, social media or other apps, right? So let's skip that. Uh, again, the static friction, uh, I so, so these, these are, are the problems problem that I face. So uh, usually I am the person who used to you know say all the time I start tomorrow, but that will never come, come because uh, uh, from your personal plus two concept, you know, static friction is higher than rolling friction. So you have to keep that rolling all the time. So there hasn't uh, there shouldn't be any moment when you say I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it right now, I'll do it today. I start the great day preparation, whether I am in first year, second year, third year, or fourth year. So Start with small steps, no matter uh, what that means. Uh, by the time you reach your gate exam, you will have something in your kitty to attempt in that gate paper. Inability to write with pen. Now, uh, again, this is a problem with you know most of the engineers. Uh, what we do is uh, we are having we are having a habit of you know reading in the last night, reading for the exam next day, right? And you cannot write or practice everything in one night. If you are having an exam today. So during the four years, what we have built is we have built the habit of reading, reading our syllabus, reading the concepts, and then vomiting it on the paper. That is the wrong approach. I tell you, at least for data examination, that is the wrong approach. Most of the branches that even uh, GEC, uh, the one is having uh, electrical, mechanical, and civil, 
the mathematics is involved in majority of the subjects. I suggest nothing should be without a pen. No reading mathematics. Right? You have to fill out notebooks. You have to write the notes. You have to do it with a pen, pencil all the time, so that uh, if your brain cannot remember, your hand muscles will remember the formula. So the final uh, mental and physical health is very important. Get sleep. If you are having a lot of screen time during the day, get seven hours of sleep. If you are good with books, I think six hours of sleep in a student life is very good. Uh, don't avoid topics you dislike. Go into that. That beat your fear, you know, uh, uh, and you will come out uh, in, with you know glowing uh, Fuel yourself effectively. You know, good food, good mind. So flex your body and mind. Exercise, playing is definitely necessary. Avoid negative vibes. That is important. Schedule in a day. Go out with your friends, have a party after you accomplish some goals. Give training to your friend when you have done the chapter or maybe a subject training or maybe you have become pro in solving some questions of you know gate subjects. So you can give a treat, you can give training to yourself. So that is important for your physical and mental health. Lack of resources and mentoring. This is another problem uh, that I used to face when I was doing my BTEC. Uh, there was uh, having I was having no resources, no mentors at all. So I was having a lot of difficulty. But right now, um, uh, you have TQ faculties with you. Uh, we have already, you know, uh, been conducting gate classes free of cost. Mentoring is done. Uh, we have been motivating students for research. We have been, you know, motivating them to pursue higher education as well as prepare them for gate. So, and there may be mentors in your college itself, you can approach your teachers, your professors, or maybe if you are interested, you can also go for other agencies who are, you know, imparting gate education, if you have that kind of resources with you. So, how to prepare? This is the final slide. I will, uh, you know, close after this. So, uh, practice is the key. I have already told, you know, watch all the TQ, uh, you know, uh, videos that are available online on the YouTube channel. Take notes. Mind it with a pen, not just looking at the videos and just saying, okay, I understood the concept. No, that is not going to help. Solve uh, previous year's question papers. That is going to help uh, in the exam itself. Uh, practice mass general attitude, topic-wise, subject-wise, mock test, important. Group study will save you time. Right? You will be you will be able to you know do gate papers on your own. But if you do collaborate in a group study, the time will half or maybe one fourth. You will require the same time, and the rest of the time you can spend for practicing questions. I think I am done here. Uh, if uh, you are having any doubts, you can uh, you know mail to us. You can ask right now, and uh, this is our game initiative where uh, the training is given online, and you can talk to all the mentors through Telegram and other uh, you know uh, mediums. So thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, dear students, uh, you may ask your questions. Uh, you can uh, post your question in the chat, chat box or you can ask questions directly. All the students are eligible to unmute their marks and turn on their videos. If you have any question, we are happy to hear you and happy to uh, answer your queries. Anyone? Uh, uh, sir, the students have posted some questions in the chat box. Okay. Muniam, uh, can you go to the chat box? Yes, sir. Uh, chat box in chat box, there are some questions. Can you go through? Yes, uh, Ashfa, uh, uh, how much time give to gate in a day? So, I think time management uh, has been very well explained by your issue, sir. Your issue, please explain. Please answer this question. <laughs> that is a very interesting question. How much time to, uh, you know, for gate preparation? Say, if you, are, if you are in third year or final year, I suggest. Uh, if you are into you know your project work and stuff like that, you can give at least four hours a day, five hours, and as much as you can. Uh, see, this is uh, uh, this is something that you have to decide by your own self because if you are if you are done in your if you are if you are good in your concepts, right? If you are having have good hand at your concepts, the theory part you will directly jump off. 
uh, up on the numerical part. So definitely the time required will be less. And if you are in third year, fourth year, you are you think you are weak or you are having not a you know, good grasp of the subjects, you have to put in more time for that, right? Uh, maybe 10 hours a day or so. So accordingly you have to work. For the people who have just started their engineering, maybe first year, second year students, uh, yes, you can at least, even if you give half an hour a day, it will be good to go. It will, it will be good to go. And one hour a day is, can be given by everybody, morning, in the morning or in the evening after the classes. Yeah, I think I think you can schedule according to Pani uh, Mekhita Neva. Right? Yes, uh, he has said very well. I think if you are in the uh, first year or the second year and uh, you have started preparing for the gate exam, so you should give the two, two hours per day. And if you are in the third year or fourth year, so you have to give more time for the preparation of the gate exam. Because you have to cover all the syllabus and uh, all the aptitudes and uh, syllabus, mathematics, you have to uh, learn your uh, previous uh, semester syllabus also. Uh, so you should give the three to four hours for um, eight for, uh, for to qualify the eight exam. The next question is Satyam Jha, sir, I have a problem of forgetting theory during the exam. What do you do for that, sir? Uh, Yes, uh, when uh, you are taking, talking about the forgetting the concepts, that means your revision is not perfect. You may understand the concept, you may go through the topic, that's why it is simulated at the time of exam, but you are unable to recall because you are not uh, revised that it properly. So my suggestion will be, you revise your topic as much as possible. In gate, revision is the... I think one of the fundamental key to get a good result or good score. The next question is Abhish Sharma. How many times student can appear for the gate exams? Number of times you uh, there is no restriction for the gate exam. You can give uh, number of times you can appear for the gate exam. So even I can also give the exam right now. And anyone has any query, please, please post your questions here in the chat box. Uh, one question is there, uh, how do we manage the time with college routine? So many assignments we have to do. Uh, that is a very common question in <laughs> many uh, Actually, in college, suppose you are uh, starting the gate preparation from first year. So in first year, you need not think about for the second year, third year or final year subjects. You just, what you are studying, Suppose you are studying calculus in the mathematics. Okay. So that subject you really you prepare for the gate doors. You are in classes, you will get the concepts from the uh, our your YouTube channel, you get the concepts. Do the gate level preparation along with that subject only. I will suggest that one. And that's why you uh, and you, uh, you, if you are doing that, then uh, you don't require that much extra time outside the college routine. Because you are already studying the subject for the college, uh, the college exam, and parallel if you do for the gate exam also, then it will require less amount of time. And when you are passing the second year and third year, suppose you are in third year, so whatever you are studying in the second year, you do the revision. And how many times you do the revision? First time, if you uh, need to complete a subject, uh, total content, for, for you require 40 hours. Then when you do the revision, it will become the 20 to 10 hours. Then when you do the third time revision, it will become the 2 to 1 hour. Because the uh, retention in the content in the retention in your memory will increase. So do revise and do prepare simultaneously along with the college subjects. And if you are in the fourth year and you are trying to start from now, then you need to give an extra effort, extra time, extra uh, dedicated time. Whatever you have the time, whatever time you have, you need to do a dedicated time for the gate preparation. So, next question is Vivek Gaitri. Sir, the ESC syllabus is the first student to prepare well for gate property. Will he be able to pass the ESC? You wish to, sir, please. Uh, you are from ESC background. You can answer him. Vivek, Vivek, that three issue. Sir, please unmute. Sir, unmute. Unmute. Your issues are unmute here. 
the engineering services examination there is a conventional paper also so you have to prepare according to that also but yes if you are preparing for gate that will also prepare you for es but you again need to study the pattern of es because there is a conventional exam also where they you have to you know fill in the descriptive answers प्रोसेस टू मेकिंग If you make a note, if you understand topic and make a note for you, sir, that will be better. That will be retain in your memory for a longer time. So I will suggest uh, what are the content means main uh, materials will be provided in. You will get in the that uh, YouTube channel only, and by seeing that and handwritten some notes also will be provided in the Telegram group. And we are already providing in the Telegram group, so you should join that YouTube channel and Telegram, and there you will find the, all the notes, lectures, and from that you should prepare a note for yourself. I think Shivamurthy, where is he? I if I am a beginner, which subject I prepare first? Yogesh sir, I think mathematics is the subject to go for. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Mathematics is the first subject you have to prepare for the first, and then you can make a uh, notes for your uh, other subjects, your course subjects. Then you can prepare for the course subjects also. So, If you are in the final year or third year student. Then go for whatever it is. If you are uh, means preparing, how will you prepare for the game? Then go for the what is your favorite subject? Because which one is your favorite subject? It will give you the boost your confidence. That this uh, I can solve this one. I can solve. when you are solving this uh, key questions of your favorite subject, then it will give the confidence that I can solve for that subject too. So if you are in the advanced level, in the third and fourth year, then I should suggest I will suggest go for the your favorite subject one first and simultaneously target the which subject giving you the maximum number of questions in the game level. Okay, so that subject also you can target depending on the your. Offline 
Mel, do you want to answer this? Yes, of course, our channel. You can uh, go to our channel and uh, for offline purpose, we provide you the notes or the Telegram group. And uh, you can also uh, you can also take an uh, offline. Uh, there are so many books are also present in the market. Made easy books. You can also go for the preparation. But uh, everything you are provided in our channel, our Telegram group, they they provide notes. If you have any doubt, they can. Uh, within two or three minutes, they can easily uh, crack your doubt or clear your doubt. So you can go for that. And obviously, if you go through that YouTube channel of our Glasgow Tech Tech Initiative channel, you will you can decide by yourself is it this beneficial for you. And I am almost ninety nine point nine nine percent sure that you will find it beneficial for you. What is the name of Telegram channel? Uh, uh, in the description of video, whatever you will. See uh, in the YouTube channel or YouTube channel. In the description of each video, you will find the uh, description uh, list of the YouTube channel for the uh, your Telegram channel branch wise. Okay. Just go through the YouTube uh, YouTube channel, and there you will find the, all the information regarding your uh, what is called. Uh, Telegram channel and everything. Just remember that. Go to the YouTube, type, take your faculties, and you will have in your hand everything. Ma'am, in YouTube, is there any question? Anyone have any question? Uh, Query, please. Please put your question in the chat box. Uh, in YouTube, do we have any question? So, sir, uh, no, sir, I think. So, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are no questions. I have already answered the questions. Okay, uh, so if we are not having any questions, uh, actually the coordinator Neha, ma'am, she uh, she is facing some power cut issue, so we can wind up this now. Uh, uh, um, okay, okay, now everything, everything is okay. Okay, okay. Uh, carry uh, on. I would like to think, uh, Neha, uh, yes, all the students have to see all the other ways. If uh, anyone have any fish face, face any problems or anything like that, uh, they can uh, go to the YouTube channel. There, all the contacts are there, and there, all the email addresses and all the information regarding that is also available in the YouTube channel. Okay, sir. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, Tiki Pakali, and don't forget to subscribe and share your uh, share our videos and uh, give us the thumbs up button. Yes, ma'am. Sure. sure. Thank you so much uh, to all the speakers. It was really very knowledgeable and very insightful helpful session. And uh, and as a history of course, means so, so uh, students may have well, means more benefits. And it is really very really helpful for students. And uh, thank you for such a knowledgeable session to one and all uh, to all the speakers actually. Uh, Mrs. Monia Higra, Madam, uh, and uh, Suman Sir, thank you so much to everyone. Uh, we are very grateful to the TQ faculties uh, who are arranging all these classes for the free of cost. So it is really very really helpful for, for our students, for our uh, young engineers. Uh, I would, I would like, like to thank Ankita Chand Dr. Madam also because, because, because of her only uh, means we are uh, able to conduct this session on our uh, college and uh, I am also thankful to uh, our principal sir, Dr. Ranyash sir, uh, because of him means uh, we got the opportunity to conduct this session on for our students and, uh, and I am also uh, thank, thank, thankful uh, 
and I also want to thank the coordinators, Mr. Nisar Bhandari sir, Mr. Nadal Bhandari sir, and last but not, not the least, uh, participants who actively participated in this session and uh, they may also clear their doubt. And thank, thank you so, so much, all this, uh, sir and ma'am. Thank you so much. In the future, means whenever we will need any uh, help regarding such kind of webinar or uh, like that, we will uh, means we will uh, take help from you. And thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you to principal sir. Thank you to all the coordinators. Thank you to all the students too. Thank you very much. Please send feedback, feedback from all the students. students. Please. Joining us, and if you remember that, all good to go. Thank you. Recording stop. Recording in progress. Is it over now? Yes, ma'am. I'm stopping. Okay. Thank you, sir.